Hey guys, it's Chris coming to you from the uh, the new workshop in the new basement, which is in the new house. Um, came home from work today. I found that the mailman had left me a little gift, courtesy of uh, one Mr. Murdoch Hendricks. Uh, already went and opened it up because the first take of this video, I didn't do right because that's how I am. Um, you got the little uh, love letter here. He's telling me what's in it. Uh, also, he mentioned, because it's the kind of guy he is, he included a little something extra, which is always cool to see. Um, and uh, here it is. A little something extra. You funny bastard. So uh, let's get into what we have here. Got a couple of cabin dishes from uh, Quebecanist in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, the Gatlin Burlier. Um, the Cades Cove and Cascade Cavendish. Um, one sugar cookie like and one uh, was like a dried fruit. Can't wait to try those. So both those flavors drive with me. Um, next two we have. Got some sugar barrel and some walnut. Both of them in discontinued. Very happy to see these. Um, gonna have to try those. I think I tried one of these from uh, Danny Shore, the sugar barrel. I remember liking it. But that was one of about 75 he sent me out of taking notes. Uh, so one of the other things I did um, is uh, I've been working, doing some stuff here. We're going to go outside and take a look at the yard. Oh, bright. It's all bright. Um, I remember, uh, if you remember in the last video, Jay would say, keen observers would note, the yard looks different now. Because we went and cut down trees. And here is where the, uh, that's where that fish pond used to be. Went and started leveling off. Uh, last week I did just enough so me and my wife could have a campfire and uh, we had one of our friends come over. It was a great little time. But uh, yeah, we had some trees. Uh, a friend of mine is a tree warden in the next town over, actually the town I grew up in. And he came over and recognized that a few of these were starting to be on their way out. He's been doing it for 30 years and you can tell just by looking at it, he knew, he knew it had to go. Uh, this is going to be a real big problem over the next few years if we didn't take care of it. So. That's what I'm going to start doing now. I just uh, had to work today because I have kind of an unorthodox type of job. And there are more of it over there. And uh, there's the wood pile we're working on. But, yeah, got my work cut out for me. Get it? Trees cut? Okay, we're going to stop now. All right, uh, good checking in with you guys, and we'll talk soon.